<laughs> it's Miss Courtney and Emma in Emma's canopy in her room. And today we are going to be, whoa, we are going to be reading Hannah, the Bell of Prayer, the Adventures of Rooney Cruz series. This is the first book in the series and we love these books, don't we, Emma? This is a great series for your girls. We hope you enjoy. All right. This book is The Adventures of Rooney Cruz, Hannah, the Bell of Prayer, written by Aaron Weidman, illustrated by Rob Corley and Chuck Vollmer. It says, welcome little bell, your superhero journey begins right now. Hey, Rooney, you look super cute today. Kylie, one of the cool kids, rolled her eyes and giggled. The other girls nodded, but Rooney could tell that they were joking. She looked down and took a big breath. She liked the outfit that she was wearing. Um, thanks? My mom and I went shopping last weekend, and hello? The girls were already walking away. Do you sometimes get bullied? It can be really, really tough. Makes you sad, doesn't it? Rooney shrugged her shoulders and began to walk toward the field. All of a sudden, her foot slid across a thick patch of mud, and down she went. The puddle made a terrific splodge as her body flew forward into the murky mess. Come on, she thought. Yuck! Her pants were smeared with mud, and her shoes felt kind of gooey. She looked up to see the girls whip around in a hurry. That got their attention. Oh, no. Awkward! Ew! So gross. Kylie and her friends were pointing, and then they were laughing. This made Rooney's heart ache. As Rooney wiped off the mess and stood up, she saw the tallest girl, Maddie, was rolling around a small gray object in her hand. Then Maddie closed her fist and reached into the air. Please don't, Rooney started to say. Ow! It was a direct hit. Rooney rubbed the red spot on her shoulder. She reached down and picked up the smooth, shiny rock. She squeezed it hard as hard as she could. Leave me alone, she growled at the girls. Even after she turned around, Rooney could feel their eyes watching her. She began to feel hot. Still holding the rock, she ran to the big tree at the far end of the playground. The tall tree had long branches full of leaves that swayed gently in the cool breeze. This was her tree, and when she sat underneath it, she felt safe. She found her favorite root. It was twisty and thick. Her fingers followed the path it took up the tree, snaking its way to the center of the trunk. She danced her fingers along its windy, wriggly edge. Why are they so mean? She whispered. I don't get it. It can feel really lonely when people are mean to you, can it? Mm -hmm. Ring! Is that the school bell, Rudy thought? It sure doesn't sound like it. Ring-a-ding-ding! -ding. What is that? She looked all around. Where was that coming from? Then something moved in the tree, and it wasn't the leaves. Sitting on the lowest branch was a small creature with two wings. The creature lifted off the branch, twirled in the air, and landed gently on Rooney's knee. Then it spoke. Hey! What's up? <laughs> Rooney could feel her eyes get huge. For a second, she didn't know what to do or think. Um, are you talking? That's just weird. Oh, come on. Angels can do lots of weird stuff. Rooney shook her head. You're an angel? My name is Mari, and yes, I'm an angel. Aren't you kind of small? Angels are big and have huge wings. And... Mari held up her tiny little hand. Hey, I might not be that big, but I am an angel for sure. See? Robe, marvelous wings, halo. 
Mari spun around slowly, gently flapping her wings and tilting down so Rooney could see the small gold circle around her head. I'm not just any angel either. I'm your angel. Rooney blinked a few times. This can not be happening, she thought. Right, I'm sorry, but there is no way you are a real angel. I must have hit my head when I fell down. Mari scrunched up her face. Rooney felt bad. All right, that was rude. I believe you. It's just pretty funny that you're here. But since you are, maybe you can help me. Those girls are so mean. It's like this every day. I don't know why they're making fun of me. Mari sat down on Rooney's knee and crossed her legs. I hear you. You know, this kind of thing has been happening forever. This reminds me exactly of Hannah. Hannah? Rooney didn't know any girls with that name. She's one of the Bible Bells, Mari nudged her. She's a superhero. What's a Bible Bell? Rooney asked. I'm not sure how you don't already know this, but superheroes aren't real. They're comic book characters. It's all made up. Well, Mari said, Hannah was a real life human with powers and everything. Come on, I'll show you. Mari fluttered her wings and lifted off Rooney's knee. She sailed up to Rooney's hand and lightly tapped on her fingers. Open up! Rooney unfolded her hand. She was still holding that rock. Mari flew down and picked it up. It was about the size of her head. Then she soared down and placed the rock on top of Rooney's root. Suddenly the rock began to wobble. Then it wiggled. And then it shot quick as lightning up the trunk, hit the center, and boom! The trunk split open and out bounced a window. Rooney's eyes were wide open. Whoa! Pretty cool, huh? Mari said. Rooney glanced down. Hey, my clothes! Mari, where did all the mud go? Mari laughed. I thought you should have clean clothes for the journey. She flew to the corner of the window and waved her hand for Rooney to join her. Take a look. See down there, Mari whispered. Hannah's with her husband and um, his other wife. Rooney wasn't sure she heard Mari correctly. What? He has two wives? No way. Weird, right? Super weird. Mm -hmm. Okay, Mari continued. So Hannah, her husband, and this other wife lived together as a family. But Hannah's husband isn't always around. And well, listen. Rooney leaned in. She could see a woman sitting at a small table, mixing something in a large wooden bowl. Another woman was bustling around the room with her hands on her hips. Oh, I'm the best mom ever, Hannah, the woman standing up said to the one with the bowl. You must be so sad you don't have any kids. I guess God doesn't love you very much, or he would let you have a baby. Oof. She's bullying just like those other girls, weren't isn't she? Rooney got a sour look on her face. Wow, what's her problem? She's not very nice, is she? said Mari. She is super jealous because her husband loves Hannah more than he loves her. Rooney got a sour look on her face. Wow, what's her problem? She's not very nice, is she, Mari said. She is super jealous because her husband loves Hannah more than he loves her. Rooney was quiet. That must feel pretty bad, but that's no reason for her to be so mean. Rooney could hear Hannah whispering to herself. Just ignore her, she said. God loves me. I know he does. Don't listen to her. Why doesn't she do something, Rooney asked Mari. Mari nodded her head. I know, right? This went on for years. The window shook, and suddenly a new scene appeared. Rooney thought it looked like a big party. Most of the people were smiling and laughing, but Hannah was standing alone with her head down. Mari, what's going on? Every year, Hannah and her family take this trip to celebrate and worship God, Mari explained. Rooney was confused. She looks like she's having the worst time ever. Enough is enough. Hannah said, I've got to get out of here. Rooney watched as Hannah walked quickly away from the party and sat down in a quiet corner near a large stone building. 
What's she doing? Rooney asked. I can barely hear her. Rooney, watch this, Mari said. It's my favorite part. Rooney leaned farther into the window and she heard Hannah's voice. God, why is this happening to me? I'm so sad, Hannah cried. I faithfully serve you and I love you. I know that you love me. Please don't forget me, Lord. I know you have a special plan for my life. I can feel it and I trust you. Hannah was quiet for a moment and then she spoke again. Please give me a son. I will raise him to love you too, just like I do. When he is old enough, I promise to bring him back here and he'll follow you faithfully for his whole life. Just then, Rooney saw a man walking over to Hannah. She heard him say, excuse me, but you are acting a little funny. I think you should leave. Mari, Rooney asked, who's this guy? Mari put her hand on Rooney's shoulder. That's Eli. He's the priest, the man in charge. Hannah looked up and Eli moved a little closer. What are you doing here? He asked. I'm talking to God. Hannah tilted up her head. I'm telling him what's in my heart. Please don't send me away. I've held my feelings inside for so long. Now I'm here to tell God the truth and ask for help. Eli nodded. You know, that's very brave. May God bless you in your prayer. Go in peace. Suddenly, Mari's window shook again. Rooney could see Hannah, and she was holding something tiny in her arms. Hold on, Rooney shouted. I thought Hannah couldn't have a baby. Mari smiled, but she did. A little baby boy, and she named him Samuel. Rooney was so excited. Wow, wait, why? Because, Mari said, Samuel means God heard. Awesome. Rooney couldn't believe it. She leaned in to get a closer look. For this child, I prayed, Hannah said, and God listened to the true desire in my heart. Rooney jumped up. Hold on. She talked to God and he heard her? God hears her? No way. She really does have superpowers. Mari did a flip in the air. I know. Pretty cool, right? Wait a second, Rooney thought hard. Mari, do you think God will hear me if I talk to him? Mari nudged her gently. Try it. What do you think? Do you think God hears us when we pray? Mm -hmm. Yeah, absolutely. Rooney took a deep breath. She put her head down and closed her eyes. Okay, God, here we go. This is the first time I have ever talked to you. I might mess it up, but I'll try my hardest. I just want to say that it is awesome Hannah could talk to you. She really loved you, didn't she? Hey, is that why you could hear her? Anyway, what you did was a miracle. I'm having some problems at school. I'm not sure what to do. Can you help me like you helped Hannah? I hope so. I hope you can hear me. Rooney opened one eye, then the other. How was that? Mari threw her hands in the air. You did it. That was great. Mari put her arm around Rooney's neck. You know, God can hear you any time you want to talk to him. It doesn't matter where you are or what you're doing. You can talk to him as much as you want, and he will always help you. Bruni thought for a moment. Do you think he can really help me with the girls at school? Mari held Bruni's hand. One thing I know is that God can do amazing things. He's got a special plan in mind for you. Just keep talking to him and be ready for him to show you. I am so proud of you, Mari squeezed Rooney's hand. And now check this out. <laughs> Mari's hand spun around quickly and a bright shining bell appeared above her head. This is the bell of prayer. It will remind you of the power you have to talk to God and tell him the truth, just like Hannah. And remember, God can hear you, and he is always listening. Rooney reached out to touch the golden bell. It felt warm. Is this for me? Yes, Mari said. Bells are the symbols of the Bible bells. Each bell represents a real superpower. Once you learn how to use it, it's yours forever. Rooney held out her hands, and the bell floated down, landing softly in her palm. As soon as it touched her hands, the sparkling bell began to glow. Really? 
Thank you, Mari. It's God's gift to you, Mari replied with a wink. I'm just the messenger. I'll take really good care of it, Rooney whispered. I promise. Hey, Rooney! Rooney looked across the playground and saw that Kylie and Maddie were walking toward her. Come here, Maddie called. We want to show you something. She said something to Kylie, and both of them started giggling. Rooney thought for a second. She looked at Mari. Then she closed her eyes and put her head down. Hey, God, it's me again, Rooney. Before today, I didn't know I had the power to talk to you or that you could actually hear me. This changes everything. Now that I know you are listening, I feel different somehow. I'm not scared or angry anymore. Look what happened to Hannah. She trusted you and you watched over her. You protected her. Will you do the same for me? I think I'm going to need your help, like right now. Please help me know how to talk to Kylie and Maddie. Please help me know what to say and what to do when I get over there. And no matter what happens, now I know that you will be with me, just like you were always with Hannah. And no matter what happens, now I know that you will be with me, just like you were always with Hannah. Thanks, God! Rooney looked at Mari and smiled. She took the glowing bell and tuck it, tucked it safely in her pocket. She could feel the warmth of the bell inside as she started to walk toward the girls. She smiled again. She was beginning to understand. All right. We have a Bible verse for you. I will give you hidden treasures, riches stored in secret places, so that you may know that I am the Lord, the God of Israel, who calls you by name. That's from Isaiah 45, 3. And it's such a wonderful verse. I hope that you enjoyed our reading of Hannah, the Bell of Prayer. Have a wonderful afternoon. Can you say bye? Bye. Bye. Hey, boys and girls, I hope you enjoyed that story. Let me know what stories and books you want me to read next time. Thanks. Bye.